Well, as I always tell the students, the important thing about uh, Khaleesi viruses is they are RNA. Their genome is based on RNA. And what that frequently means is that um, viruses like that can evolve and change very, very quickly. There are many, many examples of, of this in, in, in medicine, things like influenza viruses, even HIV. Part of the problem with HIV is its ability to evolve. And feline calicy virus fits into that mould. It's a virus that can change very quickly. The, um, the ability of FCV to change quickly means it's very diverse. There are many, many different strains of feline calicy virus out there in the community. Uh, and so the big challenge for vaccination is how do you produce a vaccine that can protect well or equally well against so many different strains, against so much diversity. Lots of interesting things. Um, I've spent 30 years almost working on this virus now and there's lots of, lots of exciting things in there. But I, I guess the two that I would pick out for practitioners would be uh, firstly on diagnosis. FCV can cause a persistent infection and many cats, many clinically normal cats will test positive. Um, so about 10% of the cats in the UK and throughout Europe probably are shedding FCV right now. Uh, and so we, there's some advice in the guidelines on how to interpret a diagnostic test. Uh, and obviously, um, something close to all of our hearts is vaccination, is how we uh, interpret um, the best scientific evidence that we have to produce sensible guidelines for practitioners on vaccination.